This year, on average, you'll consume 125 pounds of synthetic chemicals, a feast of over 3,000 different additives, color dyes, preservatives, stabilizers, ripening gases, bleach, texturizers, taste enhancers, and chemically altered fats, sugars, and amino acids that bear no resemblance to the food molecules they originated from. If you're like most people, you'll consume over 150 pounds of sugar, 145 pounds more than what your grandparents ate just 50 years ago. And that's before you add in the corn syrup and other artificial sweeteners made by manipulating the molecular structures of natural products, some in ways that are virtually identical to known poisons. Along with these chemicals, you'll guzzle 53 gallons of soda, two pounds of butter, 13 pounds of cheese, five pounds of trans fats, and nearly 250 pounds of animal protein. Combined, these foods add up to the lion's share of your caloric intake, and yet they contain little if any of the vital micronutrients every system in your body depends on for health. Even worse, we're now eating foods and digesting chemicals our bodies have never metabolized before, and at quantities that it struggles to absorb. It doesn't take a trained nutritionist to understand the accumulative effects this is having on our health. Our bodies are simply not designed to cope with what we're putting into them. Add to that the severe lack of complex micronutrients you're not receiving, and you have a recipe for disease that can manifest itself in all sorts of different ways. On a cellular level, it takes the form of pathogens attacking our health, thriving in acidic environments, festering as potential diseases, creating both macro and micro inflammations that deplete the immune system while aggravating the intricate workings of hormone secretions. This in turn upsets our natural metabolic balance and leads to excess fat production and insulin exhaustion. Outwardly, we experience it as any number of chronic conditions. Weight gain, colds, fatigue, headaches, premature aging, mood swings, stiffness, disease, and the list goes on and on.